right, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. We're talking today about cocaine found in the White House. You may have heard about this. You may have not. Uh, so from the Gateway Pundit here, it says, On Sunday evening, Anthony Scott at the Gateway Pundit reported hazmat crews were dispatched inside the entrance gate near the west wing of the White House to investigate a suspicious white substance that tested positive for cocaine hydrochloride, uh, which is just another name for regular old cocaine. The report stemmed from local D.C. journalist Andrew Layden, who posted photos on Twitter that showed hazmat crews located near the gate of the west wing of the White House. Layden later tweeted out a link to a D.C. fire and EMS radio call that confirmed the suspicious white substance found tested positive for cocaine. On Tuesday, Independence Day morning, the D.C. media reported on this holiday morning that the substance was confirmed to be cocaine. Uh, on Monday, Rob Schmidt at Newsmax TV reported that first son, Hunter Biden, who has a long history of crack cocaine use and high-priced prostitutes, was at the White House on Friday night before he left with his dad, Old Joe, to Camp David for the weekend. Now I'm going to play the monologue here from uh, Rob Schmidt. It's pretty good. How it got there or whose it is, but it appears that cocaine has been found at the White House. And it wouldn't be a thumping July 4th weekend without Hunter Biden ripping lines off of a bust of Teddy Roosevelt. A mysterious white powder was discovered in the West Wing on Sunday, prompting a hazardous materials call to the fire department. I wish I was making this up, but it's true. Newsmax can confirm the powder is presumed by the fire department to be cocaine. It was sent to a lab for further analysis. Hunter... I can tell you, was at the White House on Friday, leaving with his father for Camp David. Sadly, he may have forgotten his party favors, which is unfortunate. Imagine having to hang out with Joe Biden for four days sober. Now, that's a long weekend. All right, so that was Rob Schmidt. Pretty good there. Um, obviously, the... the uh, go to here about Hunter Biden being there. I mean, is that a coincidence? Be a heck of a coincidence that Hunter Biden just shows up and then a day or two later, oh, we found cocaine in the White House. Now, I want to also show you how the mainstream media is obviously running cover for the administration. Now, try to think for a second. Imagine if, I don't know, Donald Trump was president and Donald Trump Jr. was a known drug addict, drug user. And he happened to be at the White House, and a day or two later, drugs were found. Do you think they would give him the benefit of the doubt about where that came from? Or would there be speculation that maybe it came from him? So I read the report here from Reuters, and I'm also going to read AP. These are two of the biggest uh, wire services in the world. Every little newspaper and major newspaper virtually uh, takes these reports and publishes them not only on their website, but also in their papers. So these two sources of news go a long way towards um, developing a narrative around current events, politics, and so forth. So they say here that the white powder found inside the White House late on Sunday was identified by Washington's fire department as cocaine. Now, they go out of their way here to say hundreds of people work in or come through the West Wing regularly. Um, so they're trying to they're trying to put the, the doubt in your mind that, oh, it's probably not who you think it is. There's hundreds of people that come through here. That would be fair. We don't know where it came from, but they're obviously giving the benefit of the doubt to the administration. And if we switch on over here to uh, the Associated Press, they go out of their way to say that it was found in a common area and that it was found in an area where tours are conducted of the, of the White House. So, 
or that it was accessible to tour groups, and that it wasn't in any particular West Wing office. So they don't want you to think it's Hunter Biden. They don't even mention Hunter Biden. Now, like I said, imagine Donald Trump was president and his son was at the White House, who was a known drug user, and then drugs happened to be found almost right after that. Do you think they would be printing these uh, type of facts in their story to run cover for that administration? Well, we know the answer to that. We know the answer to that. So let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.